What? Oh. Dude, there's a dead cop down oh. here. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Hey, hey, what the hell's happening? Hey, whoa, dude, I just got set on fire. <laughs> what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 RP video here in the channel. Now, if you guys love this video, make sure you guys drop a like and let's go for over 6,000 likes for this GTA 5 RP cop mode. It's gonna be a lot of fun because today we're gonna be going on duty and there's a lot of awesome role play characters in the city today. Now, I'm currently in the airport and uh, earlier today, there was a huge, huge shootout versus the police and some fellow citizens. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get in on that action because I was not online, but if you guys don't know, um, the bank recently changed change location. Now, last time you guys saw me rob the bank, it was that small little bank in Los Santos. Now, the server has gone ahead and turned it into the Pacific Standard Bank, the really big one. So, let's go ahead and turn on our radio dispatch and see what's going on. 20 minutes later. Guys, there's nothing going on. It's too quiet in the city. So, the bank is currently open. Now, I'm gonna do a drive-by really quickly of the bank because I hear murmurs in the city that people are setting up to go ahead and rob it. It's looking pretty clear right now but if you guys have never seen this bank this is the bank that can be robbed as you guys see it's, it's it's pretty nice now the new vault is down here so someone can run up all the way down here and go ahead and rob the big vault down there i believe it gives a little bit of extra money than it used to but i'm not sure and uh since we are here let's go and deposit our money because we have a lot of money on us current moment and uh i don't need all this money on me two hundred sixty thousand dollars has been deposited into my bank account hopefully uh, we don't um don't get robbed again because as you guys know i'm saving up for a nice car. And I need you guys to help me out decide which car. The chain gang is now in full functioning force, as you guys know. Last episode, myself, Leah, and Mr. Chang went and saw some properties to go ahead and buy something. Hopefully, Mr. Chang stays out of trouble in the city while, while I'm on the police force, because I know a lot of you guys want me to be a crooked cop, but I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. Now, we just saw a really, really suspicious... Okay, alarm activated! It's time to go! Unit 221 responding. I am here. I saw the suspects drive by in a black SUV. All right, let's take out my AR. It's about to get intense, boys. It's about to get real intense. I freaking knew it. I knew this was going to happen. I freaking knew it. So this is the plan. We saw, I know I saw like one guy driving. And I don't know how many friends they have with him. I know you guys are like, yeah, you can just see the numbers, but that's cheating. You can't see the numbers, guys. This is RP. You know, you can't be like one, two, three, four. No, it doesn't work like that. We got to make sure we, uh, we secure that other door as well. They parked near the second door. Los Santos Police Department, please come out with your hands in the air. Come on out, guys. No, we can in. talk about this. All right, one down, one down by the gate. I think that was Mr. Chang. God dang it, Mr. Chang. Mr. Chang's always getting in trouble, dudes. Always getting in some kind of trouble. All right, two down, two down. Oh my God. I'm moving in towards the vault. What the? Whoa, there's one above, one up top, one up top. He's got a shotgun. Oh, he's down, he's down. Is the bank clear? I think this is clear. Okay, I think, let's check the vault. Let's check the vault. There might be somebody in the vault. All right, <laughs> breach the vault, breach it. How are we looking? How are we looking? All right, good. They didn't get to the money. Oh, shoot, dudes. They opened some <laughs> safe deposit boxes, but not much. So they didn't take all the money it seems like i don't know if they even got away with any money to be honest that might not even be worth it for what they for all the work they just went through to go ahead and get in here guys i freaking rocked all these criminals what a bunch of idiots uh dispatch calling an ems to the pacific center bank we have uh three suspects down i killed two of them <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be all right. I'm patching up your wounds, officer. I'm using used condoms from Mr. Chang's body to, to plug your holes. Don't worry. No, no, don't. He's gonna get AIDS. Don't, don't, don't do that. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Hit. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, I won't use yep, him. Never mind. I just don't want him else. losing his you arm. Use it. Let's see if they have a first aid. It looks over like here, guys. one, right? All right, just found a uh, found a first aid kit right here. All right, perfect. Uh, see what we got in there. Maybe some gauze would be nice. He he, just, he took a full body from the shotgun blast to his chest. It looks like he might be all right, dudes. I shot Mr. Chang and this gentleman right here dead no life right here boys they're dead can't not even breathing oh wait this one's still moving sir with the suit are you are, are you there it looks like this one in the suit is still kicking we might have one to bring back to jail we might be able to bring this one back no this is a good <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. I think uh, he's singing in his while well, he's bleeding out here. I, I don't think he's going to make it. He's lost a lot of blood. And I can't believe Mr. Chang. Mr. Chang, I swear. He rolls with the wrong people. Look at him. Spread out all dead. Look at him, guys. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He looks pretty comfortable, though. 
<laughs> Look at his face. Like, uh. I can't get him up without insurance. That's fine. I think these gentlemen are both dead. Let's just go get the coroners out here and uh, let's body bag these two gentlemen. What about these guys on, on the second floor? They almost got me, dudes. The guys on the second floor almost wrecked me. You guys, how are you feeling up here, sir? Good. Where did you get shot, sir? In my chest. Sir, where did you get shot? Are you are you all right here, sir? Dude, this guy got jacked up. Oh, I think this one's dead. Uh, paramedic, unit 221 requesting paramedic on the second floor of the bank. We have one that's uh, live and has health insurance. You would like to be taken to the hospital. Sir, can you, uh, can you give me your name? Jose. Jose, Jose, you're gonna be all right, man, all right? Just hang in there. Thank you. We're gonna have the EMS come check you out. Luckily enough, the bullet holes didn't hit any vital areas. Do you have, uh, do you have health insurance, sir? No. You don't have health insurance. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. Don't worry. This guy's going to jail, dudes. We're gonna put away the freaking key. He thinks, oh, I'm just gonna get taken to the hospital. No problem. Little does he know, he's going to freaking jail because he's alive. A few moments later. All right, sir, follow me into the police department. And you're gonna be going away for quite a while here. You're gonna oh. have to cough up some serious information. We wanna know who you're rolling with, the name of the guys that, that decided to do this with you. Everything, everything, everything. Hey, no snitch, bitch. The more you tell us, the more you'll be, the less time you'll have to serve. So get in that jail cell and start. <laughs> Talking. Now, Jose, you got a driver's license on you, cell phone, pistol. You've gone ahead and confiscated all that once you went ahead and entered this jail cell. Do you have a, a rap sheet I should be aware about? When was the last time you were in jail, sir? You know, I know this wasn't your first time committing a crime. This actually was my first time. I'm sorry. Wow. First time is the worst time because once you start, you can't stop. It's like Pringles. Once you open it, you can't stop eating the chips. You know what I mean? You know, they're so delicious. If you could do me a favor, yes, can you turn are. around real quick? I need to take your handcuffs off you now that I've removed your pistol from you. All right, your handcuffs are off. Now, is there anything you want to tell me before I I put you away you know any information future hits future plans what do you have to trade for your time i don't know any future plans but i know one person who went with us give me that information what, was he at the bank did he die give me some information here he was at the bank yes okay he was at the bank chief wait 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 are you telling me this chief individual got away with the bank money maybe oh shoot this is unit 221 i got reports from this guy that i have in jail here from the bank guy saying that an individual actually got away named chief and he's trying to bar like bargain his way out of uh, reduced jail time for that information. This is what I'm gonna do for you, man. I went ahead and radio in the information about Chief. How much money do you have on you, sir, Jose? Two thousand. Two thousand? Four thousand. Four thousand dollars. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and write up your report now. Unfortunately, man, you need to be going to jail. You'll be going to jail for bank oh. robbery. And uh, because of the information you provided and being uh, a valuable asset to the police department, I'll be going ahead and also reducing your sentence uh, to the minimum amount. Okay, thank you. Next time, choose your friends more wisely. And just because Mr. Chang says to do something doesn't mean you got to do it. Now, normally for a robbery, you go to jail for 20 months, which is 20 real life minutes. I'm going to go ahead and do this guy a solid favor and make it a solid eight minutes. All right. Jose has been jailed for eight months. <sighs> Poor guy. He's rolling with the wrong crew. He should have joined the chain gang. Chain gang was never. Chain gang never gets arrested, dudes. We never get in trouble because we're good. And my vehicle's disabled. So I'm making my way to the tequila la. We're just gonna see what's going on over here. I don't think I don't think I'm allowed to go into the bar while I'm on duty, but hey, it doesn't hurt to grab a drink, right, guys? It's been it's been a little crazy lately. So we're gonna pull up here and uh, just check it out and maybe grab a drink or two. Hey guys. Hey, what's up? Is this uh just trying to get a drink on duty? You know, it's been a rough day over here in the police force. Anything you want. On the house, sir. Oh, that's so kind. How's everybody? How's everybody's day going? Everything is going fucking amazing, actually. A whiskey and coke, please. Oh wait, are you on duty? <laughs> I'm on duty. We gotta keep this between us, all right? Because it's been a rough day. Right. I saw I saw a fellow officer get downed, and uh, it's been rough. Okay, it's been really rough. Uh, there's a lot of blood involved. I just need a, just a nice whiskey and coke, just just to you know clear my mind and and go back in my car and and just arrest more people. <laughs> okay, we well, like. Uh, I mean, I. Are you okay, ma'am? I. She, she, she seems so nervous. Whoa, whoa, you hold on, hold on. Are you offering I mean... me illegal drugs, ma'am? I am not here. No, to... no, 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 cocaine. Hold like... on. Like, you know, like that, like that. There's a Russian candy. Oh, like and the, uh, you drink like it, the energy drink. It's like a little, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm okay. I, I just I... want a whiskey Coke, you know, just some alcoholic beverage. And do you guys want to play some pool while I'm drinking my Coke? I know it's like a pool table downstairs. Yeah. No, it's, it's Trevor. actually, it's, it's actually, um, it's been, uh, set on fire for, uh. Some things aren't adding up here, guys. You guys closed the pool table because you set it on fire. Let me go ahead and call the fire department down here if you guys need, is it still it's on actually, fire? No, no, no. 
that was that no, that was a couple days ago. This lady's so own, nervous. Um, Can I get an additional unit to the tequila la? There's some really suspicious activity going on here. Listen, I'm just trying to go ahead and, and forget what happened today. Guys, I just really want to play a game <laughs> of pool. I wish it was open. You and me both. What happened in your guys' day that's so traumatic? I saw a guy die today. What did you guys see? We had a lovely day. I, I rode around the city with this fine looking fellow and his motorcycle. You rode in his motorcycle? His motorcycle. <laughs> wow, that sounds fun. Lauren, yeah, what did you do all day? What have you been up to? How's life? A little bit of work around the bar and stuff. Cool, cool. Well, I mean, like, oh, what improvements have you guys made around there. here? I know it's under new management. What's What's been new? I know Julie isn't around anymore. She's been... Or stabbing <laughs> at the bar or murders. Nope. That's Dang, not us. Yeah, well, I, I hope you guys aren't doing that stuff. I mean, this bar is a pretty fine establishment. I know it's had a, a rocky past. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know your name, sir, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be on my way. Thank you guys for the free drink. I hope you guys have a great one. If you guys ever need any help, let me know. Mr. Chang, you don't by chance have a key to the tequila la, do you? I was gonna just poke ah. on in. The owners just left, but there's some really suspicious activity going on. Like, I went to get a drink on duty, and they got really, really weird about how, like, the basement's closed off because because they had like broken the pool table and it just didn't add up. You wanna? Um, I know why. You know why? What's, I what's... can bust this down. No, watch this. Yeah, bust, don't, don't bust this down for me. Pick them oh, back, right. guys. Dang, Mr. Chang, you busted the door for real. Let's take a look around real quick. You smell that? She offered me cocaine earlier, so I don't know what's going on. What? The, the pool table looks perfectly fine. What are they talking about? They said Dang. that it was all burned down. Rot Something's Yo. rotten in here, though. Yo, what? Oh. Dude, there's a dead cop down oh. here. What the? Officer, can you hear me? Oh my God. We need oh. a paramedic. The tequila la. Uh, there's an officer down in the basement. Okay, this is really weird. I freaking knew it. They were up to no good, boys and girls. Freaking dead cop down here. That's why they didn't want. I was wondering why they didn't want me down here. They're gonna need. They're gonna need some serious uh, planning here. This is weird. This this should not have happened, Mr. Chang. I want to thank you for helping me. I, get I in need steps upstairs. I hope it's the EMS. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I have if there's like any medical supplies. Officer, can you hear me? Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey! What the hell's happening? Hey! Whoa! 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 whoa. Dude, I just got set on fire. The whole basement just got torched. All of us. Oh my freaking God. Uh, what happened to this guy? Well, I'm, I'm clearly not Steve. sleeping, officer. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my God. I don't know what happened, Mr. Chang, but we tried our best, man. We were trying to solve the crime there. They're saying that we shouldn't have broken into the tequila la, but listen, we did what we had to do. I was on a hunch. I knew oh, yeah. I smelled something I weird. that door right down. Listen, I'm gonna let you guys go you on your way. You Are you the oh, tow truck guy? You see that cop car right there? Yeah, Can yeah, you go yeah. ahead and take that in? It's it's broken. I'm All right, so the tow truck's taking my car away. I'll go ahead and uh, take a ride to the police station. I'll, I'll grab a new car from there if you can. It's been a crazy day out here in the streets of Los Santos, let me tell you. What's your name, by the way? Mac. Mac, listen, man, I appreciate you coming all the way out here to help me out. Yeah, it's a little crazy right now. The, the light system is all out of whack. I don't know what's going on. A lot of crime in the city lately, especially near that tequila la place. I'll throw on one of those little red lights on top of the, the tow truck so we get there quickly. All right, I'll make the sounds. Wee -woo -wee -woo. There we go. No one's going to stop us now. All right, thank you, man. I appreciate the, the drop off here. That was a little bit of a crazy situation. I don't know how that played out. Like, it didn't play out as properly as it should have. I got burnt alive, it seems like, and, uh... What the hell's happening here? What the? Uh, Why the hell did I just get shot at? Put away your weapon, sir. Uh, hey, we got uh, an officer dude. down. What the hell just happened? We have an officer dead outside. He just got stabbed in the vest. How did that just happen? Sir, I'm going to go and uh, make sure you put away that knife. I don't like it in between your hands like that. Oh, uh, there you go. Can you uncuff me? No, I can't, sir, because I'm currently searching your person. And uh, it looks like you have an illegal weapon, which is a switchblade. All right, Mr. Winters. It looks like we have a big problem listen we gotta talk about this not only did you just kill a fellow officer but you I also didn't kill. have well you stabbed him in the vest that's pretty that's a that's a bad yeah. look on top of that you also okay. have two felony evasions out you have a warrant out for your arrest sir you also have an illegal weapon of a switchblade it's not looking good for you man it's not looking good so you have two felony evasions that's looking at 60 months plus attacking a police mm -hmm. officer that's 20 months right now you're looking at 80 months in jail plus the felony of um an illegal weapon 
You're actually, so you're looking at 90 months with a felony evasion two times, plus uh, assault on an officer, plus 12 months for a possession of a prohibited weapon. Dude, you're not, you're looking for, a, that's a lot of time. That's 100 I, I plus months. I would just be honest with you. Be honest I don't get you get out of jail now. I assaulted you too. That's true. You did, you did shoot at me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and take out my, uh, my clipboard now. So we're looking at over 100 months in jail. Start. I'm going to go ahead and reduce your sentence from the over, uh, what it's looking to be 102 months. I'm going to lower your sentence down to uh, simply 60 months. So I'm bringing you down pretty substantially here, all right? All right, so I'm going to fill out this information here. Full name is John Winters. All right, before I go ahead and book you, anything you want to say, Mr. Winter, before you go ahead and uh, and go off to jail? Wait, what's in his mouth? Wait, what's in your mouth? No! Oh, what the? Did he just commit suicide? Holy, what? Can I get a EMS? Winter, what the? What did he have? I searched him. What did he have on him? Oh my God, dude. I, this is not going to look good for me. Can I get an EMS? to the uh, police department. There seems oh, no. to be a man in the jail that's taking a suicide pill. Uh, he got it past me and didn't notice he had it on him. It's Mr. John Winter. I'm trying to resuscitate. It's not working. This does not look good. What the? He was only going to go away for 60 months. What the heck did he do that for? Hopefully you can bring him back. It's not looking good. He took uh, a suicide pill. I think he's dead, ma'am. Oh, no. He's not breathing anymore. Winter. Oh, God. Dang it, dudes. I hope I don't get in trouble for this. Dudes, we freaking dropped the ball, guys. We tried to bring him back, but it didn't work. It just didn't work. We didn't notice he had a suicide pill on him, which is very smart. Let me tell you, that is a genius idea. If you're about to go to jail for like hundreds of months, boom, suicide pill. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you guys drop a like. It was a little weird one. Uh, Mr. Chang has been causing a lot of trouble. Let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see next episode, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode. Bye, guys.